my name is Caitlin and welcome back to my channel. So I am back again with another Live and Maddie review and it is Sing It Live A Rooney as you could tell by the title of this video. Um, but it is the start to the three part goodbye to Live and Maddie and it was pretty well done so let's just jump right into it. We start the episode on the set of Sing It Louder where we find out that they're planning a live episode with Justin Timberlake as the guest star. And so everyone's excited but when Gemma asks Liv to do a practice run of the song she's going to perform, she says that her throat's been hurting lately and wants to save her voice for the actual thing. She plays it off as like a no big deal, it'll be fine, but Ruby is concerned and ends up telling the rest of the family which leads to Liv going to the doctor and finding out that she has vocal nodes. And so before her surgery, the doctor advises Liv not to sing so that she doesn't risk further damage to her vocal cords. But when she goes to tell Gemma, we find out that Justin Timberlake can't make it. No surprise there. And so everyone's counting on Liv. Oh, and I liked how they incorporated the Parker Tunnels bit, but I didn't really care for the whole bacon underwear thing that Parker and Joey we're doing, although their commercial was pretty great, I have to admit. So back to Liv's dilemma. She decides to sing live, and Maddie gets concerned about her voice and goes to talk to her before her big performance. And that's when we find out that Liv is worried about her voice not being the same after her surgery, and so this might be the last time that she'll be able to sing as she can now. And I really liked this scene between the two girls. I thought that the emotion was really well done. So after their conversation, Liv goes out and kills it. And I really liked how the lyrics in My Destiny reflected what Liv was going through. Although I don't think it was as good as the songs in the previous seasons. So I won't be making an updated top Liv and Maddie songs video like I did a few months ago. Because um, I still stand by that list. <laughs> Anyways, Liv sings, but afterwards her throat really hurts, and so she runs to Maddie, and we finish with them going to the hospital. And that's the end of part one. I liked how the subplot took a background seat to the main storyline, with the main focus being on Liv's voice and the build-up to the big song, and it was, it was, it was good. <laughs> However, I felt that the whole Justin Timberlake concept was something as a viewer I already knew wasn't going to happen so the whole surprise bit with him not being able to come was lost for me and it didn't really bring any sort of surprise element there. I also felt like Dove did a good job acting here. I was really getting a lot of emotion from her character except I got a bad vibe from the final scene. I don't know if that was just because it was written poorly or what but it just did not flow right and it felt awkward and it was hard to be concerned for her because I didn't feel like the stakes were that high. Like I didn't think that they would end the show with Liv actually losing her voice. So the whole cliffhanger element didn't really affect me because I knew that that's not how they would end their whole series. Overall, I liked the focus on Liv for the finale. Oh, and Johnny Nimbus was back, which was fabulous. I love him, he's hilarious. But overall, I think it was a good intro. Next time we'll talk about Voice of Rooney and Holden's back, so that is exciting. Um, let me know down below if you ship Liv and Holden as much as I do, because I absolutely love them. Um, but that's all I have to say for today. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will talk to you all very, very soon.